Hey, you guys. Excuse me. We are scrapping. We're back here for story time. Today we read two books. Well, I read two books to the kiddos. I read The Cow Loves Cookies. That was a good one. It's by Carmen Wilson and, and Marcellus Hall. And then I also read The Good Egg by Jory John and Pete Oswald. So, of course, after they read, we go ahead and they eat crafts. Today they chose between uh, Kyle, since we read the Kyle Loves Cookies, and uh, an egg, or a baby chicken from hatching out of an egg. So y'all can see kind of what they're doing right now. See so how they're coloring and they're putting on there, making some little puppets. <laughs> Reddish color. They're designing them and making it their own, being as creatively as they want. Yes, it's going to be perfect. This is what we have going on. You can take stickers and stick them on there. Orange Why you mean orange? And you can see that these are all the books we've read so far for this story time or the summer. All are welcome. There was an old gator who swallowed a moth. That one was actually kind of really funny. Lacey Walker, Nine Stop Talker, Lola Reads to Leo, I Hate Everything. Dragon who, let's see, Dragon Who Didn't Like Fire, and the two I read today. And this is what we do at story time. This is what we do for craft day. Give the kiddos something to do. After all, the library is still thriving. Um, it's still here. You know, it's still the cornerstone of most cities. Uh, technology has taken over, but I mean, hey. You know, even the Art Boosters Library is about to get a facelift. So, you know, you still want to come back and utilize it. It's still here for our use. And we need to come out, come out. And then on Thursdays, you know, if if the kiddos allow. Because oftentimes, like last week, the kids, all the kids wanted their parents to stay with them. You know, you could take a few minutes away from... Um, Step away from the kids and just get a little bit of self-care in. Um, this week, the focus is self-love, and we'll talk a little bit about self-compassion as well, having compassion for yourself. That's something that's kind of hard to do. Oftentimes, it's hard to face ourselves and forgive ourselves for decisions we may or may not have made. But in the meantime... Yes, you can still come and bring the kids 10 a.m. Tuesday mornings, 10 a.m. Uh, Thursday mornings for yourself as well as the kiddos. But this is a good thing to have. See there. We had to break them up amongst the two tables today. This is a bigger project than normal. Let's see what they got going on over here. It's coming out very nice. Everyone is so creative in their own way. I love it. I love it because you get to see everyone's personality through color. You have some that use one color and that's just them. And then you have others who use many different colors and nothing's wrong with that. That's just them. You have Miss Angela. Say hi, Miss Angela. Miss Angela's playing one of our usuals. You see what I mean about all the different colors everyone has? We have little Miss Reagan right here who loves purple and she's sticking with purple, but then we have little Miss Olivia who is using rainbow. Everyone has their own creativity. And you know, with me in the arts, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love what we're doing here. I love that the children have been coming out. I love it all. I love that they get to showcase their creativity. They get a chance to get away. They get a chance to learn 
um, what the library is, how to utilize the library, because, you know, what if the what if internet crashes one day? Will, will they be able to know how to get this information that they need? You know, we're still on that grid, no matter how you put it. And with that being said, who will be able to survive if we go off that grid? I mean, at least, you know, when the kids come here and they learn how to use it, they'll know how to come here and find a book and find the information that they're looking for as opposed to running straight to the internet, which we can't always do. So, yeah, so come out. Bring them out. It's a nice little outing for several hours. Unfortunately, the uh, library isn't, offered, isn't able to offer a program that is uh, completely wrong. Oh, I made an A on it. Yes, you did, and a D. Good job. It looks like a circle. Well, it, it does, and it also looks like the letter D. What, d doesn't your first name start with the letter D? It does. Very good. It looks like a blue cow. <laughs> a blue cow? Hey, it's your cow. Whatever color you want her, him to be. His cow, the hair. The hair, what you're going to do, green for the hair? They're coming out like very, Marco very nice. And and this this right there, and it will look cute. Pink. Infusion pink? I don't know that. What is infusion pink? I don't know it's like that. What is infusion pink? It's a, it's a color? Okay. Well, that's a new one to me. She said that is infusion pink. Okay, just leave it in there. That's a new one for me. She said the color is infusion pink, coming from the mouth of a six-year-old. So, hey, that's why I said creativity is beyond belief. Yes, sir? You want to bust me a gun. What? I think I got all the colors. All the colors you need a purple? Would you like me to go get your purple? That is coming out really nice. Do you see? Do you see how well they're doing? Yes, sir. You got it on your hand. It's okay. It's going to wash off. It's going to wash off. All right, let's go get them purple. I have a special request. We need purple marker from this side. So let's see. Is anyone using purple? Oh, I see a purple right here. This is crazy Z art. Crazy art. Good job. See, these kids, are, these kids are very intelligent. Gotta love them. This is good? Mm-hmm. Okay. See, it's working out. So, remember, Tuesdays and Thursdays until the week of January 19th, which is a Friday. Um, and on the Friday, the kiddos get to get their awards for coming out for the summer reading program. Um, for my parents or any adults that do come in um, to take care, just take a few minutes to breathe and take care of themselves, I have something for you on the Friday. That's the July 19th as well. Um, like I said, this Thursday. We're going to be focusing on just to covering a little bit about self-compassion, but self-love in its entirety. Oh, thank you. And look, it's cookies. And see, this is what else we do. And we're always, always getting, they always have a snack that they leave out with. And today it's uh, courtesy of Miss Hanine, which is in the pink. And this is Miss Angela, the director. So... I'm about to say, I'll take a picture. So, yes, you guys, yes. So, bring them out. Come on, come on. Seriously, you know. It's a cornerstone. It's a moment of peace, a moment of serenity, a moment of quiet. Give the kids something to do. Give you something to do. See you soon. Have a good one.